Secondhand nicotine vaping is linked to a higher risk of developing bronchitis and other breathing issues. That in a report at Study Finds. If scientists can confirm this link, study authors from the University of Southern California say this would be a compelling rationale for banning vaping in public spaces. Researchers examined just over 2,000 young adults starting in 2014 when most of the participants were around the age of 17. They recorded their exposure to secondhand vaping, secondhand tobacco, and cannabis smoke, and use of e-cigarette, tobacco, and cannabis products through 2019. They also kept track of their respiratory health during this time. Results show that between 2014 and 2019, the prevalence of secondhand nicotine vaping exposure increased from 12% to 16%. Meanwhile, secondhand smoking exposure fell from 27 to 21%. However, direct use of cigarettes, e-cigarettes, and cannabis products all increased during this time. The number of participants experiencing bronchitic symptoms rose from 19.5% to 26%. Cases of wheezing increased from 12% to 15%. After accounting for secondhand smoking and cannabis exposure, actively vaping e-cigs, or smoking tobacco products, the study found secondhand nicotine vapor exposure alone led to a 40% higher risk of developing bronchitis-related symptoms. Secondhand vaping also increased the risk of experiencing shortness of breath by 53%. The link is even stronger among the 1,181 patients who did not vape or smoke in the past 30 days. These young adults were over twice as likely to wheeze and three times more likely to have bronchitic symptoms. Find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.